All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are flying the Astron Alpha 1. It's my upscale version. It's gonna be flying on the F44-4 motor. Got onboard video rolling and uh, we're gonna do this thing. Have a couple flights for you today. So welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, go on and subscribe. If you've been here, hit the thumb up button. Everybody hit the thumb up button, drop a comment. Share what you like and what you don't like, all that stuff, drop it in the comments. Also, support the links below. Um, shop SDsRockets.com. Put in IN underscore 321. Get yourself a discount on all products on the site. Most products on the site, I'll say. Not everything. Sometimes they don't have a discount on certain items, but most things they do. So, go on and do that. And, like I said, subscribe to the channel. And let's get some flights going. We are flying the Astron Alpha. This is the upscale of a vintage Estes Alpha. So, we're going to do it. All right, here we go. We got the Astron Omega. And we are going on a F44-4. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Woo, where did Eric go way up? Wow. That was nice. Parachute out. Coming down, that was a nice flight. F44 motors always, they never disappoint. <laughs> that thing took off. There's so much stuff on my screen, I cannot even, I gotta, I gotta figure that out. There's too much junk on this screen. All right, coming down. Very good flight. Had a couple misfires, and I gotta get those, those clips gotta be fixed. I don't know, I'm a, maybe today I'll take a look at them. But yeah, nice flight. Nice, nice flight. That was perfect. Nice. All right, so I'm gonna be on my way to recover this guy. This will be a little walk, not too bad. If I just stay on this straight path, I'll run right into it. As of right now, I can't see it, but he is down on the ground. So let's get over here and check it out. All right, as I approach, as I approach, we are here. I hear bees. I better get out of here. I do not want to get attacked by bees. Ooh, let me think they're over there. I got a nest or something over there. I gotta get away from that. Yeah, I'm getting away, getting away. But yes, we are, that was a good flight. Good flight of the Astron 1. All right, guys, I just had to get away from a bee's nest over there. I do not want any parts of them. I think over that way, <laughs> I think there's bees over there, so we don't want I heard them. I can hear them buzzing. I didn't see a nest, but I don't want any parts of that. So here we go. We got everything here. Everything's intact. Motor's in. Leaped off the pad pretty good. Camera's still there, which I just took a chance doing this triple rubber band thing. I should have taped it like I did previously after uh, Kevin told me he tapes his, so I'm going to start doing that more often. Not thinking. This is the F44 when I lost my last... Um, camera was on the F44 motor but that was a long delay seven second and it just shot it out from the rubber band but everything's good here now let's get some flights going subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, we'll be right back my rock Street 2 one all right guys next up we got the the red max but converted into the Wu-Tang rocket flying on an F14-4 motor I did it all up in the Wu-Tang clan style right there so we're gonna get this rocket going right now. We got a little breeze happening, a little breeze, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. It's not too bad yet. Um, we got to shut it down, but we're gonna keep going for right now. We got, I think, one or two more. We'll see, we'll see. So we are ready. The Wu Tang rocket going on the I mean, uh, Estes F15 4 motor, and we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Slow lift off, roaring into the sky. Waiting on that for a second and we got parachute, bright orange parachute is out. It's out, we are good. Not sure if you're seeing it or not because on my screen it's all kind of gibberish. On my screen, stuff I gotta get off there. But it's coming down, we got him, we got him. We got him. Coming down right above us. Right at the range, pretty much at the pad for right now, but it's gonna drift. Oh, he's drifting. 
He drifting. He drifting pretty much at the pad. Kind of at the pad for us. This is home. Coasting down. Nice. Big old parachute. Say hi, Marcy. Hi. Marcy's here doing the launching. Doing the launching for me. Doing the launching. So there you have it, guys. The Wu-Tang Clan rocket. Slash the Red Max. Big, beefy rocket. Roared into the sky on the F-15. Nice, slow lift off. Because I built this one kind of heavy. I had some layers of paint. He's heavy. But anyway, he's back home. Everything seemed to be intact. Everything's good. Pretty sure the fins are good. Yeah, the fins are good. This is a beefy rocket. You can... You always get this little crimple here I've been getting. But... Textbook. I'll take it. I'll take it. My Rock 321. Subscribe to the channel. We'll be right back with more. Hey guys, check it out. We got a visitor here. We got a nice big old buzzard. Turkey buzzard. <whistles> Over here checking out the launches. Where'd he go? There he is. Checking out the flight. <whistles> yeah, he's just checking out the flights. Yeah, check him out. He's graceful. Check him out. Graceful. Flying around. Uh, check you out. All right, guys, we're going to get this flight going. Step beyond the ordinary with Above the Surface, a captivating collection of science fiction inspired drawings by model rocketeer Keith of Model Rockets 3 to 1. This zine features striking illustrations that push the limits of imagination and creativity, paired with motivational quotes to inspire and fuel your drive. Whether you're chasing dreams or need some positive words, Above the Surface is here to elevate your journey. Get your copy today while supplies last. All right, guys, here we go. This is the last flight of the day. We got the Estes Big Daddy. This is a classic by Estes. Gonna be going on a D-12-5, so go on and um, drop a comment, hit the thumb up, do all that good stuff, and stay tuned for the video. It's gonna be on the end of this video. This is the last one of the day. D-12-5, Estes Big Daddy, and we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There he is, way up. Still here, and we got, boom. Wow, that was a big time. Oh, we got separation. We got separation. The body tube separated. I see the body floating down. Parachute and that other yeah, cone. So we got separation happening. Everything's coming in kind of fast. But the body's kind of... That hit over here. Here's the body right here. It's fluttering. Fluttering down. It should still be fine. Yeah, it hit, but I don't think it's going to be heavy damage. I mean, I think it's going to still be good. But I guess shock cord. So that's the last flight of the day. <laughs> You know, we had to get something, um, something to happen, but that's this hobby. Nose cone's gonna definitely be fine. That's over there somewhere, wherever he's at. Yeah, let's see what we got over here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, the body was kind of coming down. It's kind of tumbling, so I'm not expecting anything too, too bad, actually. Nope. Ah, I got a little, yeah, I see, I got, it tore that shock core. That's, yeah, it's old. Yeah, it gave the body, had a little crumple right there. Very old, Big Daddy, very old one. And probably should have checked that shot cord. Probably got to get rid of that stuff, that elastic stuff, get dry rot over time, which we all know. Just going to check it out. So the cone and parachute is right here. Wow, do we get a sense? What happened? Because it wasn't, didn't like it totally unfolded. Yeah. It should have. Let's see. Yeah, that should have been, that should have been fine. I wonder if um, just it getting tangled up in the shock cord caused it to not fully unfurl. But anyway, not too bad, not too bad. I'll take it. Last flight of the day, guys. Go on and subscribe to the channel. Go on and hit the thumb up button. Do all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the debriefing coming up right now. All right, guys. Welcome to the debriefing. Today you saw three... Pretty cool flights of some bigger birds, you know, a little heftier, a little beefier. You saw the Astron Alpha, which is the Alpha 1, just an upscale version of it. I did as a scratch build, had onboard video, as you saw. Flew it on an F-44 
White Lightning. Let's see if I can get this out of here. It usually gets stuck in this one for some reason. Flew it on the F44, which was a um, nice flight. It leaped off the pad. That is a great motor. Uh, let me find needle nose pliers. Where you at? It has a great motor. Um, it took off, leaped off the pad, like I said, and um, everything went went great from there. It was just a spectacular flight. Um, no issues at all. Everything came down intact. You know, up and down. What more can you ask for out of a flight? So, there we go. Come on. There we go. So yeah, that was on an F44. One of these right here. One of the Econo Max motors already built. No, it's not a reload or anything. It's just build it and it does its thing. So very good flight of this one onboard video was nice. And if you remember, if you saw one of the old videos in the archive, I had actually flew this rocket at night. Let me get this kind of shake some of the char out. Yeah, I actually flew this one at night. Very nice performing rocket, super stable and all that stuff. Um, then we flew one of these two. We flew today with the big daddy. Classic, classic Estes rocket. Nice and beefy. But I did get separation. It was on a D12 fly, D12-5. Got that guy right there. It got some separation happening. So, and this is an old one. I probably should have been replaced this shock cord. It just it snapped. It charred it and snapped. Yeah, but it's all this is old stuff. But yeah, burned right there. Yeah, burned right there, and it snapped. Either snapped or it got burned. But I'm thinking it, a mixture of both. A little bit of heat, then the pressure from the extending. Snapped it right off there. So I'm going to get rid of this and I will be replacing that. I'm going to be replacing that with something a little more heftier. I may even do both. A mixture of the mixture of Kevlar and some kind of rubber to relieve some of the tension. So yeah, would have been a nice flight. It was a nice flight on it. It just got that separation. So that separation, and you, you know, you lose points and all that stuff. So no perfect flight on this guy, but still was a nice flyer. And it pretty much survived. I knew when even I wasn't even like it was fluttering around. The body itself had some, you know, it was floating around, so doing some fluttering, which was slowing it down, creating drag. So I knew it was going to be okay. Yeah, the body itself was fine. It, like I said, it hit and all the fins so they're on there pretty good. It had a little, little crumple right here. You can feel a little soft section, but it's nothing. This is a worker a workhorse type rocket, so it can take the beating. So this one will need a new shock cord now. And that's the big daddy. If you can find one of these, get one of these. These are good um good rockets, good flying rockets, nice and stable. Then we have which used to be the Red Max, but I changed it to the Wu Tang rocket. Nice, heavy duty, big, solid, bulletproof, everything. The fins are on there pretty good, nice and solid. Even though I did have a breakage way back, but it's all good now. And in there I had a F15-4, one of the SDs. 29 millimeter black powder motors. It did its thing. It did its thing. Nice slow kind of lift off because this is a heavy rocket. So it's one of the 29 millimeters here that is compared to a 24 millimeter motor. It's a lot bigger, a lot more powder, a lot more, a lot more power also. So that was today's flights, guys. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumb up button, drop a comment, all that stuff. And we will see you on another video. We will be right back. In the meantime, watch this video that's coming up on your screen.